yards for his wheels. All right, last man on the hill, though. Aaron Gwynn, all the pressure's on him. This kid seems to thrive under pressure. Nothing, nothing gets in his head, weather, bike, malfunction, nothing. We've seen him win World Cups without a chain. We've seen him win local races without tires. He's... <laughs> He's pretty unbelievable. Choosing to get up high inside right there and Just like look Luca, at the right? pace. Wow. So fast through that upper section. Just follow a cloud of dust down the hill. That's Aaron Gwynn. Here we go into the Asylum Rock Garden. Coming in so fast. He didn't even slow down to come <laughs> into that section. Dude. So ridiculous the, the pace this line. man can carry. He has to really pump harder to make it fit to the speed he's going is that right it looks like yeah i mean i know his bikes are always set Ooh. up super rough and wow half a second on luca that's still close though yeah, all it he takes could... is one mistake on this really tight fast track let's see if he can hold it looking pretty darn smooth Oof! almost blowing out that berm luckily he's the last man down so can there doesn't do need it? to be anything left manualing and jumping here we go into the finish taking an extra pedal what's it gonna be Aaron oh, Gwynn. Woo! that is Four seconds faster than last year when he won. And three seconds faster than his qualifying almost. Man, and so he must be pumped. The man just knows how to race. That's that's going to be your race winner here today. Aaron Fastest Gwynn. man down the hill. Followed three years in a row, right? Luca Shaw, Mitch Ropolato, and Kieran McKinnon and Sean Neer both getting great podium results here at the GRTs. Yeah, that's a... I think third through eight is a pretty tight battle. Yeah, a lot of guys in that 207 mark. Great top ten board there, Roddy Biodi.